We also need Congress to pass legislation that can help newer generations of veterans who are suffering or will suffer due to toxic exposure from burn pits. It is worth noting DAV's early role in identifying the potential dangers of burn pits. In 2008, Dan Clare, the same veteran at the table with us today, was de deployed to Balad Air Base, Iraq, and alerted DAV to an in internal DOD memo detailing the possibility for chronic health hazards associated with the smoke. DAV helped pave the way for the Airborne Hazards and Open Burn Pit Registry and has spent more than a decade advocating for affected veterans. When I was based at Camp Scandia in Iraq, I myself took a number of trips to our burn pit where everything from tires and batteries to medical and human waste was burned. Upon my return home, I had new respiratory, cardiovascular, and thyroid issues and have a number of fellow soldiers who served with me as well. For the past year, we have worked with Senator Sullivan and Manchin to develop the Veterans Burn Pits Exposure Recognition Act that could help these veterans now. The legislation would formally concede that veterans who served near burn pits were exposed to harmful chemicals and toxins, thereby making it easier to provide, prove direct service connection. We ask all of you to support this legislation, S2950, so that veterans suffering from burn pit exposures do not have to wait decades for justice like the Vietnam generation before them.